Catherine Arnold's The Sexual History of London, From Roman Londinium to the Swinging City, Lust, Vice, and Desire Across the Ages, is a captivating exploration of the City of London's sexual history, from its earliest days as Roman Londinium to its transformation into the Swinging City in the 20th century. In this engaging, meticulously researched book, Arnold delves into the complex and often scandalous world of sex, lust, vice, and desire that has shaped London over the centuries. Arnold's work is a testament to her skill as a historian and storyteller. She combines historical facts with vivid narratives to create a compelling account of London's sexual evolution. Her writing is accessible and engaging making the book an informative and entertaining read for both history enthusiasts and general readers. The book is structured chronologically, which allows readers to witness the gradual changes in London's sexual landscape over the centuries. It begins with the Roman period, a time when London was a bustling trading hub filled with soldiers, merchants, and other transient populations. Arnold paints a vivid picture of the brothels, bathhouses, and debauchery that characterized this era. She highlights the prevalence of prostitution, drawing parallels between the sex trade in Roman London and its modern counterparts. As the book progresses, readers are transported through the medieval period, the Tudor and Stuart eras, the Victorian era, and eventually into the 20th century. Arnold skillfully portrays the social, political, and cultural contexts of each period, illustrating how they influenced sexual norms and practices. She explores the impact of religion, morality, and legislation on London's sexual history, shedding light on the ways in which societal attitudes toward sex evolved over time. One of the book's strengths is its exploration of the lives of ordinary Londoners. Arnold incorporates diaries, letters, and personal accounts to provide a more intimate and relatable perspective on the city's sexual history. This approach humanizes the past and enables readers to connect with the individuals who lived through these times, experiencing their struggles, desires, and temptations. Arnold also discusses the roles of various subcultures in shaping London's sexual landscape. For instance, she delves into the world of courtesans in the 18th century, revealing the intriguing relationships between these women and their wealthy patrons. She also examines the LGBTQ plus community in Victorian London and the challenges they faced in a society that often marginalized their experiences. The book's title, The Sexual History of London, might suggest a focus on explicit or sensational content, but Arnold approaches the subject matter with a balanced and scholarly perspective. She avoids gratuitous details and sensationalism, instead emphasizing the importance of understanding how human desires and relationships have evolved in the urban setting of London. By doing so, Arnold shows that the history of sex is deeply interconnected with the broader historical narrative of the city. One aspect of the book that could be improved is the coverage of the 20th century. While Arnold successfully captures the sexual revolution of the 1960s and the emergence of the swinging city, she provides less detailed insight into more recent developments. A more in-depth examination of the AIDS crisis, changing attitudes towards LGBTQ plus rights, and the impact of the internet on sexual practices in London would have enriched the book's final chapters. In conclusion, Catherine Arnold's The Sexual History of London is an engaging and informative work that offers a comprehensive exploration of London's sexual history from Roman times to the 20th century. Through meticulous research and compelling storytelling, Arnold paints a vivid picture of how the city's sexual landscape evolved in response to social, cultural, and political changes. Her book is a valuable resource for anyone interested in the history of sexuality and urban life, and it serves as a reminder that the story of a city is as much about the desires and behaviors of its inhabitants as it is about its buildings and streets. 
Arnold's careful balance of scholarship and narrative makes this book an accessible and enjoyable read, shedding light on the often hidden aspects of London's rich history.